Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Tubitus here, <laughs> as you can see. And today I'm gonna teach you how to do this effect. As you can see here, it has like this effect called chromatic aberration. I think, yes, that's the name. Or it can look like this. Or if you have a little bit more creativity, you can do, oh, let me see. Yeah, you can do things like this. Well, if you play a little bit with it, with the effect. So, okay, I'm going to erase this. <laughs> so yeah, the effect is really simple to do, and it's basically this happens to the cameras sometimes, as you will be able to see in these examples. For example, for uh, when you take a picture. Sometimes it can look like this, like in the edges, it will have a different color, like this. I don't know if you've seen it before. Here is an example too. This is a little bit of an example, and this is more exaggerated, obviously. But yeah, you can do things like this if you if you want to. So it's really simple to do. Okay, here. So first I'm going to start with I have these letters here that say to be to and I want to point out something. If you want to do this effect here see that the background so like the white background and the letters are in the same layer. They have to be together to be able to do the effect, right? So, there's two ways that you can do this effect. Here, the first way, this would be, will be the second way, right? So, yeah, the first way that you can do this is you go to filter, lens correction, and you will have this selected like this, I think, I don't know. I had it selected. You have to unselect that. I don't know why, but you have to do it. And with these things that you have here, you just have to play with it. Like depending on on what you do, the colors are gonna change. For example, if I move this here, oh, if I move this here, the colors are gonna change and everything. But yeah, you can play with it. But Make sure to put it like to the extreme, you know. And here you can see the effect. It has like this little edge here with color. Uh, it's very subtle, as you can see. It doesn't look that much. And that's how it looks in real photos, right? But if you wanted to look more like that effect, you just have to repeat the same thing, like, I don't know, four times, five times, until it looks um, very noticeable. You see? Now, every time I do this, it, ger it gets bigger, the effect. Uh, one more time. So yeah, as you can see, here we have that effect. Looks very cool. And you can do this with pictures and everything. So now, the second way that we're going to do this is you need to have your layer right here, but you have to duplicate it. So you have two layers that are the same. So in the layer that is on top, like this layer on top of this one, you have to double click so you will open this window and here where it says channels you have to unselect one of them you can choose if you unselect this it's going to look red and blue if you unselect this it's going to look green and purple if you unselect this it's going to look blue and yellow so i'm going to start with this and what you have what you have to do 
Now, is you have to move the c the layer that is on top using this. Whoa, here's the effect, as you can see. Or you can use the the how is that called? Like the <laughs> I don't know the thing that is in your keyboard that allows you to move things. <laughs> Ah, the, the arrows, the arrows, that's the name. So yeah, you can use the arrows a little bit to move it and stuff, as you can see. And here's the effect. So now I'm going to show you this. For example, if you s select this, as you can see, it's like this 3D effect. If you select this, it's blue and yellow. So you pick whatever you like better, right? So. One tip that I have, if you wanted to look a little bit more realistic, maybe the like the layer that is on top, you can go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. So you blur it a little bit. No, not that much, not like that, but a little bit, you know? So it looks a little bit more realistic and stuff. I don't know. So yeah. That's pretty much it, the effect. And a bonus tip. This is a bonus here. You can get creative with this and do interesting stuff. Okay, first of all, let me rewind. Here I had my two layers, right? So I selected the two layers and put merge layers. So they are going to become one layer, right? So we only have this one. Okay, anyway, so you want to select with the selection tool, like this portion here or whatever you want, and you can move it a little bit. You understand what where this is going? It's like a glitch effect or something like that. Or you can do, or man, a, and you can do, for example, this. You select like this you control g no control <laughs> oh how do you call that letter oh my god ah control j i think yeah control j and it's going to create a new layer with only the selection that, that you did so you can move it like this whoa so it looks more like the effect right and you can put it a little bit of motion blur so it's like that i don't know whatever you want to do and this is like a glitch effect like when the computer gets crazy and stuff or the tv yeah that's a cool effect that you can do with it and yeah that's pretty much it all the tutorial as you can see so i hope you understand I hope you it was help I hope it was helpful and see you on the next videos. Bye. And remember in my channel I have more tutorials, more stuff. So check it out. Right? So yeah, cool. Uh see you on the next videos. Thank you for watching.